Stress Shock? Zombies Ate My Neighbors is the Super Nintendo subreddit game of the month for October, fittingly enough. Just take one glance at the cover art, which is some of the best of the 16-bit era. In fact, the title alone, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, is just fantastic. There's no ambiguity here. You know exactly what you're getting into, and that's the realm of cheesy, campy horror movies. Being a ginormous Mystery Science Theater 3000 fanboy since I was a kid, that's right up my alley. Zombies Ate My Neighbors is a simple top-down arcade-style shooter where you're able to shoot in eight directions in all sorts of different settings. A football field, a mall, your neighbor's yard. This game reminds me of games like Turtles in Time, in that the incentive to keep going is to see what crazy shit the game will throw at you next. The classic movie monsters are all here, from werewolves, vampires, giant babies, god I hate this thing, and oh yeah, zombies. And you shoot at them with an Uzi water gun, a fire extinguisher, a bazooka, or bomb them with explosive pop cans, and tons of other weapons you find along the way. Some of the levels get pretty inventive, like where you have to rely on these Jason-esque chainsaw-wielding guys to create a path for you to rescue some of the townsfolk. There's 55 levels total, and to advance you gotta rescue all your neighbors. This is where the map is very handy, so you're not wandering around forever wondering where the hell to go. If you can't save people fast enough, they die, and you won't have a chance to get them the rest of the game. However, you do occasionally get a second chance to save them. The best thing about Zombies Ate My Neighbors is that it's multiplayer, and not just that, it's very smooth with two players, there's no slowdown or anything like that, and the AI even amps up the difficulty a bit. And believe me, this game gets hard as hell. Anyway, you've got two characters to choose from, Zeke and Julie. I don't think they could have made this dude look 90s enough, that outfit could use some Zubas. If you want to learn about the differences between the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis version, you're not going to find a better resource than this video from Game vs. Game. I will quickly say though that the obvious difference is the status bar that squeezes the aspect ratio down on the Genesis version, while the Super Nintendo version has an overlaid map that can be toggled on and off. There was a quote-unquote sequel made called Ghoul Patrol. The original development of the game, however, had nothing to do with Zombies Ate My Neighbors. They just added some bells and whistles to make it look like it fit in alongside as a sequel, as kind of a cash-in. As a result, the game totally lacks personality, and also totally lacks a map, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's okay at best, but it was never originally intended to be a sequel. Anyway, there really isn't any other game like Zombies Ate My Neighbors on the Super Nintendo. The closest, in terms of a match in gameplay and charm, is probably Super Smash TV, but even then, that game has a totally different vibe. But yeah, do you like to laugh? Do you like to shoot zombies and monsters? Do you like a challenge? Then check it out, and if that's not enough, it's one of the best multiplayer games of the 16-bit era, and it's worth tracking down just for that reason alone.